वेलकम टू कंट्रोल इंजीनियरिंग लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू डेरिवेटिव कंट्रोलर इन दिस वीडियो एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड डेरिवेटिव कंट्रोलर फर्स्ट आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू द बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ डेरिवेटिव कंट्रोलर आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी हाउ आउटपुट इज देयर विद डेरिवेटिव कंट्रोलर then after i'll explain you the basic block diagram of derivative controller with second order system after that i'll be going to explain you the basic transfer function which is there with derivative controller with second order system then after we will see physical understanding of derivative controller after that i'll explain you the basic significance which is there with derivative controller and at last we will discuss some advantages and disadvantages of derivative controller so let us begin this session with first agenda that is a basic definition of derivative controller so the basic definition explains you output of derivative controller will be a differentiation of input with respect to time so if i say i have a derivative controller here then its output will be differentiation of input means if i say input is e of t then output will be differentiation of e of t with respect to time that is how derivative controller functions i'll give you more clarity with respect to time how things are happening so let us try to understand that with bit more detail in terms of frequency domain analysis so as i have said here in derivative controller output is directly proportional to differentiation of input with respect to time right so if i say my output is m of t then m of t will be directly proportional to differentiation of input let us say input is e of t the differentiation of e of t with respect to time and this proportionality controller proportionality constant let us say that is kd for a derivative controller now we can say that output m of t that is kd into differentiation of e of t with respect to time right now here if you want this in terms of frequency domain then we need to take laplace transform of this if you take laplace transform of this by considering zero initial conditions in that case laplace transform of this in time domain will result into m of s is equals to kd into s so we can say transfer function of this derivative controller that is m of s divided by e of s that will be kd into s right so one can say derivative controller adds zeros with the system based on block diagram what we can understand derivative controller adds zeros to the system right now let us try to understand this by second order system so here i have shown control system with second order in that you see controller portion that is there with derivative controller and derivative controller is what it is kd into s right in terms of frequency domain and standard second order system that is omega n square divided by s into s plus 2 zeta omega n right now here if you want to resolve this in terms of transfer function then we need to do that simplification so here kd into s and s omega n square divided by s s plus 2 zeta omega n that is in series combination so multiply this two that will make a block which is kd omega n square divided by s plus 2 zeta omega n and this system is negative unity feedback system so transfer function is omega g of s divided by 1 plus g of s h of s and here h of s is 1 as this is negative unity feedback so g of s that is 
calculated here you can see just place that in basic formula and you will be observing a resultant transfer function that is c of s by r of s is equals to kd divided by s plus 2 zeta omega n plus kd so here one thing that is very much clear see this transfer function is having order 1 because of only one pole is there for a transfer function c of s divided by r of s and actual second order system transfer function that is omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square so here one thing that one can clearly understand by having derivative controller we are adding zeros to the system we are decreasing order of the system we are increasing stability of the system so here we are increasing stability of system by decreasing order of the system using derivative controller now let us try to understand its physical understanding and then we will discuss significance and advantages and disadvantages so when we talk about physical understanding you see i am just taking one input signal to the derivative controller you can see the signal right now with this signal what is my output so my output that will be always a slope and that slope will be instantaneous slope so if i take a point and i just need to say whatever slope is there that will be my output magnitude as per differentiation rule so here i have shown different slopes and as per that i am just plotting my output right so that is what derivative controller you can observe that i have plotted over here right so that is how physically output is appearing it is always a slope of input signal it is always based on slope of input signal but here there are few contradictions that we need to understand see in significance one can say by having a derivative controller we are adding zeros in the system which increases the stability of the system but because of we are adding zeros we cannot eliminate steady state error and in derivative controller you will be observing always there will be steady state error we cannot eliminate offset but here essential thing is we can increase stability of the system so this is all about derivative controller i hope you have understood this video even if you have further any queries you just ask those queries in comment box i'll be happy to help you by replying that thank you so much for watching this video